early. It's 8.51. Um, well, not that early, because um, usually I've been running at 9, but today we have Kickstarter breakfast. So I'm going to do that first, then I'm going to go go walking, jogging, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to see Mark Street today, um, and he's going to join me for that walk. Um, you know, he lost even more weight than I did. I've lost... 42 pounds so far he lost over 100 so i've been getting advice from him which is a cool thing because um you know it's nice to actually be in really good shape so i'm happy that i'm i mean i'm not in the best shape but i'm happy that i'm at least in good shape at this point so yeah you know there's still a little bit of a stomach here but not much of one there's a lot less of a stomach than there used to be so i'm happy and eventually it'll be completely gone you'll be able to see my abs at some point which will be pretty exciting especially for someone who's in his 40s um but for now we're going to breakfast then i'm gonna see mark i'll try to get some some health tips from him as well for you guys um and it looks like my elevator's about to get here so we're about to go down and see tom i'll ask about i didn't stop at the top five last night because i was actually playing lots of games but i will stop and ask him about it uh we have the raffle tonight where we're raffling off the cruise that i told you about january 24th the 29th of 2020 we have spiky dastards i'm doing a really nice dinner at picasso which is next to the bellagio fountain so i should get some nice video for you guys today and besides that it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a good day um get my exercise in get everything in and go from there but this is our last full day at the convention, and then tomorrow is a half day at the convention, so it'll be nice to give you guys all of the information and show you everything that else that is going on. For now, though, uh, I'm going to get ready for breakfast. Well, here we are at the Kickstarter breakfast. We're at the buffet at the Westgate today, um, which is pretty nice. Tom's organized a little I think we're here, and we're somewhere else, so I'm going to sit here for now. And we'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm going to sit over here and we'll figure it all out. Okay, so today I have the guy who will give us all the health tips we ever need about <laughs> exercise and walking. I've been telling everyone how you lost over 100 pounds, Mark. 141 pounds. 141. I lost 42. That's I feel awesome. like I can't lose you another 100, lost. though. <laughs> I would I was, be like 5 pounds, well, I think. Where did you start? Because I was at almost 300 pounds. I was 206 when I started. Okay, yeah, see, I have quite a bit more to lose. <laughs> I'm in the 160s now. Go, I'm going to try to get to the 140, so I got about 20 more to go. Nice. Um, 20 or so. That's awesome. You know, we'll yep, see. You're looking good. We'll see. But give us some health advice since you're since you're the exercise aficionado. Don't drink your calories. Yeah. Eat them instead. Yes. That's a huge one. Don't drink and your don't, calories. Don't do drastic cuts. Do portion control. Don't say I'm cutting sugar and carbs. Well, that works temporarily, but when you introduce that stuff back in, it's just going to exp explode on you. Yes. I, I've been eating, i actually been eating not much different than I eat, except that I notice when my stomach gets smaller, I eat a little less. Yes, which is great. But I still eat the same, but I, I do, t actually I've been doing like 20,000 steps today, not 10. That's awesome. But I do at least 10 a day. Yeah, so that's the ideal is to do 10. And, but if you're just starting out, go walk for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And just do that for a week and then increase it. Exactly. I mean, it's a good pace. Yep. What, what kind of pace do you usually walk at? What's a good pace I mean, for people to walk? Well, when you're starting out, you're probably going to do something like 20 minute miles, 20, 22 minute miles, somewhere in there. But I mean, I'm up to like 14, 13 and a half minute miles. So. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I usually, what I do, I don't know if this is good. I do intervals. Yep. So I jog a mile for, and I do about an eight minute mile. Then I walk a mile doing about a 16 minute mile. Ah. And then I jog a mile at eight. So my pace is 12. Yeah. But I do a so, jog and a walk usually. For me, it's every, usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll every five minutes, I do a 30 second sprint and do that kind of interval. Okay. So it just, you know, increases the heart rate and gets you really cruising. Yeah. Yeah. And Cassandra's here with us too. Yes. Um, what's your normal routine? Uh, I'm about five days a week, but a 17 minute mile. I don't push myself. Uh -huh. But I make sure I get out every single day, 30 minutes a day at least. That's right. On days when I have a little extra time, it's 45 minutes a day. Nice. Well, um, today's going to be two hours, so just be prepared. 
I will attempt to be alive at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a sea on the way, so you'll be distracted. Highly entertained. Yes. That helps a lot, actually. It being really distracted. does. That's what keeps me motivated, actually, is when I go walk, because mm-hmm. I listen to Audible. Uh huh. And I can't listen to the rest of the story unless I go walk. Oh, my workout playlist is super upbeat. Yeah, see, that helps yeah. too. See, I don't have a workout playlist. I just. I just walk around my neighborhood. We have a big lake in the middle of my neighborhood. That's nice. So I walk around the lake and I just check out the scenic views and I walk in peace. I don't actually listen to things. Ah. Sometimes I listen to a podcast to. Yeah, on the phone. Good too. But I'm not a big listen to stuff while I'm focused because I want to focus on like keeping my pace. And when I when I'm jogging, yeah. it, you know, you got to focus. So yeah. it's tough. I don't know. This the the Sound books help me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it gets too monotonous if I don't have something going on. So the, gotta have something. the question is, with your Audible books, how many of them are Eric's books that you listen a to? A lot, actually. <laughs> it's so fun because I'll be, I'll come across something in the book and I'll text him. I'm like, dude, and he's like, what? What are you talking about? Because <laughs> <laughs> he probably recorded it like five years yes. ago. Yeah, exactly. But no, it's going to be great. We're going to go for a great walk. I'm going to shut the phone now so we can yeah. focus on our pace. Because awesome. this is making me go slower than usual. But <laughs> here we go. We're going to pace it down to the Mandalay Bay. Same as the other day. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So here we are. We're right in front of Caesars. Here's the fountain. The famous one that Evil Knievel jumped over. Pretty good times here. So here we are at the Bellagio. But you can see Picasso on the other side. That's where we're going to be eating dinner later tonight. Right on the water. But look at this. We'll be seeing the fountains later. This is just a gorgeous hotel with these fountains. So excited for it. Well, here we are in the New York, New York. As you can see, the giant Brooklyn Bridge, the roller coaster. And it's, uh, it's a nice walk here. You can see, I don't know why there's a Hidden Valley Ranch thing here in the middle of New York City. It makes no sense, but everything else reminds me of like New York back in the day. Um, this little thick Brooklyn Bridge here, but it's, uh, it's New York. What more could you want? I love New York, so here we are. Well, we made it to the Mandalay Bay, as you can see above us yes. there. So we're at the halfway point. It's been a good workout so far. Yep, it was good. Right? We're going to go back now and uh, get some more exercise and then uh, play games. Well, you're recording. You're recording something, yes, aren't you? Yes, we're recording for crowd surfing. Robert and I are teaming up for a segment this time, so that should be really good. I'm gonna play games. Yeah, we're gonna do some of that too. And then tonight we're gonna go do some Vegas stuff. Vegasy stuff, that's the way that's to do right. it. Exactly. All right, guys, until next time, never give up, never surrender. And do your walking yes. and drink your water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, as the tradition goes, World of Coke. I don't know where Beverly is, but Beverly is here somewhere waiting for the infamous taste test. Oh, man. It's interesting what flavors there are, but we're looking for the Beverly somewhere here. Okay, so we learned something new. Thumbs up from India tastes like prune juice. It is gross. I give it a thumbs down to thumbs up. Eaten Our favorite lady of the night, Beverly, right here in all its glory. And I did try it again. I don't know why. I see someone shaking no, his head no. No way. It's not happening. Don't you want to try Beverly? No. Look, Beverly's calling for you. She Beverly's no. calling for you. I don't ever answer to Beverly. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you need someone to do it. Poor Beverly. Poor Beverly. Poor Beverly. Back on the tray, not being drinking. That's where she deserves to be. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Only Italians and Beverly. I don't get it. We'll never get it. That's such a crazy drink. But I actually, well no, thumbs up, got a thumbs down. Beverly might give even more of a thumbs down. Beverly, yeah, absolutely. two thumbs down. Absolutely. Well, there we were, World of Positive Coke, workout. with the giant bottle behind us right there. Um, flavors of the world, we had our Beverly. Life goes on, Mark wimped out, he didn't do the Beverly. No, never again, never again. But. Next year, we might get Mark to do it. No. I doubt that. In Orlando, we might get Mark to do it. Uh, no. We'll say, here, have some 7-Up. No. It's good. <laughs> you you we'll would be fine. Thank you. You would do that, too. I would. I'd be like, here's some 7-Up for really you, good. Mark. Oh, no. It would be Sprite, actually. It's Sprite. Sprite. Yeah. Sprite's a right? drink. Yeah. You, you'd know if I said it was 7-Up. Yeah, right. But, yeah, I'd be like, here, Mark, have some Sprite. <laughs> no, it's Beverly. It's awesome. Anyway, we're going to continue our walk. Uh... 
we're at the MGM now. We yep. gotta go all the way up. So here we go for the rest of the walk. Well, we decided to stop on the way at the Venetian at the Bouchon Bakery and get macaroons. They're so amazing. These are like giant sized macaroons. Mark has like half of half one there. Half a small piece. And they're, they're huge. So we decided to stop here at the Venetian. We're almost back. And then we're gonna do gaming. So it's been a good walk, a good day oh, yeah. so far. A lot more to come today as well. I know, I told you they're amazing. I love macaroons. Well, here we are. I am here in um, Mark's room and look at this gorgeous view he has. You can see the monorail below us, our west gate, but that's the strip right there. That's where we just walked. That is a gorgeous view of the strip. It's amazing how, how this looks. When you see it at night with the lights, it probably looks even better. I might have to come back here later tonight to get some pictures of it. Well, as you can see, I changed into my nice Dice Tower polo shirt here um, because we're going to have a nice dinner tonight and nice things. So I figured, eh, might as well dress up for the occasion. Um, so I went sans t-shirt with the polo shirt today. Um, still repping the Dice Tower, of course, because that's what we're here for. Dice Tower, Dice Tower West. I'm walking back into the um, game center now. So going to play games, going to meet some people, have a good time before dinner. Looking forward to everything. Hopefully everyone's been having a convention. I'll see what people are, are saying when I get in there. Well, the convention center is really full today again, as you can see. So it is a full crowd here. We're really excited. Um, I see a few scattered empty tables, but in general, it's been pretty full. Let me see what the library is like. I'm gonna walk over to the library and see what it's like over here. Um, lots of people checking out games. Let, let's try to figure out what was the most popular game so far. Um, we'll ask some of our library staff. And we'll see what it is. So, tell us here, what's oh been the most popular game that's been checked out at the library so far? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy? I wasn't prepared for that, Jason. <laughs> oh boy? I didn't know there was a game the called Oh Boy. Game. Architects of the West Kingdom tends to disappear as yeah. soon as it comes back. Um, Wingspan has been very popular. Wingspan, Architects, those are the games that I figured would be popular. Yep. Sounds pretty good. So, uh, yeah, has everything been good here in the library? It's good. It's a lot of fun working in the library, actually, because you get to see what's coming in and out. You get to meet a lot of people. You learn what the hot games are just by seeing what's checked out the most. Exactly. Architects of the West Kingdom, number one. <laughs> yep, that's been popular. gong has been popular. And a lot of people have been asking for passing through Petra. Yep. So a lot of people asking about that one. So yeah, quite a few. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So you see cameras here, and as you can see, the guys are prepping for crowd surfing. Crowd surfing. Crowd surfing. Gonna are you going live? Combining FOMO and preview recap. Yep. I know. It, um, FOMO is me, also, <laughs> um, as you know. But. Uh, are you guys going live with this one or is it going to be a no, taped one? No, of course. Four crowd surfing this week. Excellent. This is going to be awesome. Yep. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Yeah, it's going to be epic, right? FOMO. FOMO, that's me. We're, we're FOMO together. High five on the FOMO. Ooh, All look right. at that. That was a definite high five. I mean, everyone's calling me the FOMO guy now, you so are. he's lost it. Yeah, I think he lost it. Although I didn't want it. So. That's good. They call, me, they call me the collection guy. You are the collection guy. I think that's more appropriate now. Okay, so I found the only copy in the U.S. of Escape Plan. I'm hoping that this will end up with us in the next few days that we can review it because this is a game I've been looking forward to for over a year. Let's open the sucker up and see what's in here. Let's just open the sucker up right here. I'm so excited about this. This is Vital's newest game. I, I just know it's about like robbing stuff. Um, I think it's like Ocean's Eleven almost or something and you're trying to rob stuff. Oh, these boards. Reservoir dogs. Reservoir dogs, I guess, is what I'm being told. These have nice inserts on the boards. These indented, double-layered boards look really nice. There's, oh, there's an indent here even. Over here, I could feel it. That's really nice. Um, these boards are great. I see a game board here. This is the first unboxing of this, I think, that's been done. So we're seeing the unboxing. This game board looks really nice. Um, so there's a hex map, and it looks like a room where they're hiding out, keys. This board looks really cool. Um, I don't know what's going to go in the middle, but we'll figure it out at some point. And look at that though, wow. 
this looks cool. I love the little coffee stains on the board. It gives you that realis realistic effect of blueprints in here. This is really cool. Let's look at some, let's look what else is in here. Pieces. So I see, this almost looks like pant, people's pants pockets that you're pickpocketing or something. I really like the look of this. And I see tiles. I see all sorts of things. Wow. Oh, look at these, look at the money. Look at these little monies. Oh, this is great. Little, the money, the money packets are great in this. Here's a three packet. Look at this, threes and fives. This is great. Um, there's lots of little things, a rule sheet. There's all sorts of tokens in here. These giant hexes, which look like layouts of the city where you're going. Um, and, oh, look at those meeples. That is a really nice, oh, is that a police card? That's a police guardian. So I guess we're gonna, there's gonna be police out there trying to stop you while you try to rob things. And this looks really, really cool. I'm super excited to see this. And I know we'll be showing you guys more of it very soon. So as you can see here, it's the, what they call the preview center. But for those of you who can recognize the shape of this, this used to be the Star Trek experience, but now it's the preview center. But I wish they brought the Star Trek experience back. One of the cool things that we have here at the hotel at the Westgate, but maybe one day they will bring that Star Trek experience back. Uh, phasers on, get ready to transport down. Well, here we are at Picasso. Um, you can see there's a menu behind me, but this is Julian Serrano's restaurant. And those windows there, as you can see, that's the uh, fountains right behind us. We're gonna be actually going downstairs there's an escalator there. You go downstairs. So we're gonna be at water level, eating on a, eating on water level outside. It's gonna be gorgeous. This is the same seating that they had in the movie Ocean's Eleven. If you remember when the guys ate dinner by the fountain, we're gonna be at the same restaurant as that. And for those of you who know that I work at Univision, Julian Serrano is a uh, friend of some of the people that I know at Univision. So we should get, hopefully, to get to talk to him or something. You know, we're we're gonna see if we can talk to him while we're here because. You know, don't want to hear about all this amazing cooking that he's doing. Anyway, we're getting ready for a nice dinner here at Picasso. Well, here we go downstairs to the terrace, Picasso by Julian Serrano. And I can't wait to see these gorgeous views as we get down here. You can already see how it looks. And look at the water right out there. This is going to be amazing. Well, as you can see the views of the patio with the water of Bellagio going behind it, look how gorgeous that looks. This is a dinner to die for, literally. Or maybe just figuratively, but look how beautiful the views are gonna be while we eat dinner tonight. So excited for this. So here is our table. Look at this beautiful view of the water. Very excited for dinner tonight. It is going to be incredible. And I love these plates with the Picassos on them. Just gorgeous in every way. So here we are. Look at this beautiful view behind me the water, the fountains of Bellagio. I will get you some video of the fountains when they do go off. But for now, um, just very excited to be enjoying a nice dinner here. Look how beautiful this is. This is what you call a view to remember. Well, here we are with the show. Don't believe it, just watch. Look how amazing that is.
Well, there you go. That's what it's like to eat down here. Amazing views of the Blasio Fountains. Uh, you just heard a little uptown funk. And uh, now we're going to keep enjoying our dinner. And we'll bring you some more here from Dice Terra West out in Vegas. And to stand up. How better can it get? Dinner's over, we had a great time. We got a little Michael Jackson behind us now. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And we got a raffle coming up soon, so we're super excited. Super excited for the rest of the night. Raffles. And what else do we have besides raffles? We have Spiky Dastards Tournament, which is gonna be incredible. Everything's gonna be incredible, but this, this dinner was amazing. I highly recommend coming out to Bellagio for dinner. You get this behind you while you're eating. Can't imagine anything better than this right now.
as you can see inside the restaurant, there are real Picassos here. Look at how amazing that is. Just a gorgeous restaurant with gorgeous pictures. Well, we got a surprise gift on the way out. Um, didn't get to talk to the chef because he wasn't in, but they did leave a surprise gift for us. So it's nice, <laughs> it's nice to know, know people. And look at this gorgeous little gift that was given to us. Chocolate, something or other. I'll open it later, but I'm so excited. Had an amazing meal, an amazing time, and now we're off to the raffle. Well, we're coming over here. We're about to make our announcements. I see Tom in the back, and this is gonna be great. People are coming for the raffle, but here's Tom. This is our closing night ceremony. I'm coming through here. Are you excited? Closing closing night oh ceremony? Oh my goodness. Closing night ceremony? Yeah. We're, we're raffling off. What are we raffling off? We're raffling off 24 lots of games and uh, tickets to Dice Tower Con, Dice Tower West, and something else. Something, right? Something else. I don't remember what. Yeah. That little sailing boat. The little sailboat. Oh, and by the way, thanks to all our sponsors, AEG, Yellow, Arcane Wonders, Indie Game Studios. These are our main sponsors. We're super happy. So everything is great. Here come the announcements. Playing Here games. comes Tom's announcements. So we have some announcements. So, so thanks, here we go. And then some raffles. All right. So first of all, things that are still going on. I guess you could go to the bar and still play after that. <laughs> all right. Next year, we're gonna do this again. <laughs> so. So next year, the dates are February 26th to March 1st, so mark those down. Uh, we will announce online when tickets go on sale. They're not going to go on sale for a couple months yet, so but just keep an eye out for when that happens. We're going to increase the size slightly so that more people can get in, but I would imagine it will sell out, or at least I hope so. Um, so keep your finger on that trigger. Uh, if you have feedback about the convention, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, good or bad, I'm always willing to listen because we always want to make these things better. Speaking of making things better, we have a few people we wanted to say thank you to real quickly. First of all, we want to thank our main sponsors of the show. We have AEG. <laughs> Makers of such great games as Space Space, and I guess a lot of people have been playing Tiny Town. Yellow. At their booth, they had the expansion uh, for um, Body Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah, it's really cool looking, too. Arcane Wonders. I, I've, I've played a few of their games and think very highly of them. And Indie Game Studios, which kind of includes Stronghold. Is Bonacore here? <laughs> All right. We'd also like to thank all the other publishers, all those folks who came back there. Some of them, there was like one or two people at the booth the whole time talking to their horse. I really appreciate that making this a really good convention for all of us, and we're glad they all came. Also, we want to thank our, we have, the Dice Tower team came in. I know, I'm not self-serving here, um, but a lot of Dice Tower people came in and they helped teach games, and for all of those, of you who went around and you saw a sign that said teacher won it and you taught the game, we really appreciate that. You make the kind of better place. <laughs> we want to thank uh, Richard Ham for coming in, or Rado. <laughs> and volunteers. So if you could do me a favor, we are going to do a, a raffle in a second. We're going to have people stand up when they win, so no one here has won yet. So if you could sit down briefly, find a seat somewhere. <laughs> I apologize. It just will make it easier for us. <laughs> but with that in mind, if you volunteered at all in any aspect here, if you could stand because you make this kind what it is.
you come up, you're Laura McDonald the here is so okay. happy. She just won make them a free cruise with us. Thanks to our cruise. How so, happy are you right now? Oh, they're not. But they're, a lot of the companies here have donated great games and <laughs> and, and, to and, stuff. and the first five are going to come with a special game request from Jennifer Hands. So we appreciate that. Okay, so I've officially been told you are the first person to come on the cruise. Tom's not even coming yet. It's just gonna be me and you on this cruise. Yay! We haven't even invited Tom. You're passenger number one on the cruise. <laughs> you have to invite him? Yay! No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if we have to invite Tom, but uh, how you. excited were you? Uh, I missed it, but you were like screaming, hyperventilating oh, again. You went running, running here to get it. Well, we didn't. I didn't. No, we were sitting way back here. I couldn't really hear. And Malcolm just said, my husband says, "It's you." And I'm like, "It's me? What? I don't know." I was like, "Okay, I'm coming." And then there, somebody up here told me, "You won the cruise." Oh my goodness, lost it. <laughs> because we were hoping to go anyway. And now we can confirm that we're going. <laughs> yes, it'll be you, me, Tom, yes. Sam Z, the gang. Yeah. We're all going to oh be gosh. there on the Independence of the Seas. Are you excited? We've never been on a cruise. I mean, this is the first time we've flown in 12 years, so very excited. Very excited. Never been on a cruise. He's well, very, very not, he has no sea legs, so I don't know how that's going to go, but Oh, I'm no, excited. you're going to love it. You guys leave him home. <laughs> yeah. If he's afraid of sea legs, leave him home. Bring one of your friends no. instead. All right, all right. <laughs> No, this is going to be She wouldn't have found out if it wasn't for me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get your information now because okay. I have to sign you up for the cruise. But uh, we're so happy that you're joining us. Thank you very much, Tom and Dice Tower and everybody. Jason. Jason, of course. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you do, yeah. Oh. You do, you do this great work. You guys are so welcome. You know, without you guys, we're nothing. So we're just happy to have you. Well, we are here at Spiky Dastard, the, the Dice Tower Deathmatch of the Year. And you can see here the spikes, the spikes of death, <laughs> deathmatch craziness. I've had my hands smashed before. I've had holes in my hands. In fact, I have a hole in my hand right now. As you can see by my pinky, you see that, that dent? I've already been smashed once here, and we haven't even Robert. started yet. But this is going to be an exciting and time. I put the camera out of focus, but we have more of them here, so let's see if these can be in focus. And we're ready to start smashing these. Smash, smash. Oh, I got more holes in my hands. But this is going to be the crazy Dice Tower death match. I don't know how many people are signing up, but all these people are fearless. To do this, you must be, you must face your fears to do this tournament. Dice Tower death match 2019, coming at you live here at Dice Tower West. That's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of things all around. Oh, man. <laughs> I want a good, clean fight. <laughs> Let's get ready to spike in. You ready? Bam. <laughs> Riveting. Bam. Okay, you lose one, but it doesn't matter, so. Boom, boom. Did someone grab the wrong color there? That was no. so serious. I would be screaming the entire time. I just want to let you all know that. That's the wrong color. Yellow? Yes. It showed up three times, so you grabbed the ones that are not there, which was used twice. Okay, so who's going to start smashing Toby's hands as he grabs stuff? Make people. Who's going to start smashing Toby's hands when he grabs stuff? Not you? Not you? You can call out a penalty if you want to readjust these a little closer to you. You sure? <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, 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 grab a whole bunch of stuff, Toby. <laughs> if you grab it, I will penalize you for it. It's the last warning you get. I will see it, and you drop it. It's like, oh, it's fine. Bam, you didn't notice this one. Pay it, pay it. All right, and you two. Almost, we're almost oh. done here. Bam! Yeah. That took a much longer time than I should have. You're always grabbing two cups. And. Jeez. Oh, 
All right, catch your cards. So I've got one of our contestants here, Ambie. What happened there? You weren't aggressive. You weren't aggressive. Oh, she didn't win. You got eight. You weren't aggressive at all. What happened? Why weren't you fighting for those? Well, I've been getting over a cold. <laughs> what does that have to do with grabbing things? I'm really tired. That's why I'm slow. <laughs> yes. Also, I'm not an aggressive person. I don't like hurting people. Be aggressive. I hurt myself so that other people don't have to get hurt. Be aggressive. <laughs> be, be aggressive. I, 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 I got a thing. No, I can't right see here. Nate it was bleeding. And Jason. <laughs> I'm in. Here we go. I heard my name. Action time. Okay. Toby, are you scared of me now after seeing me play this? No. You better be. We'll have a good fight. We will. Well, these two guys kicked my booty. We're having a death match here. Show us the blood, Chris. Show us the blood. Yikes. Oh, man. oh my god. god. Look at this. This is a true death match. Uh, <laughs> the blood. But he's hanging in there. Toby, All right, let's do this. what do you think? It's going to be a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first of two? First of two cards! These are combined, yes. though. First of two cards? So. Oh, God. <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Do they have to, do they have first to of two, win? guys! Here we go, fellas. By two? Is this like volleyball? New or? rules. Yeah. You have to grab the pencil first. <laughs> and then move the figure off the table with the pencil. Come on! <laughs> Toby's already looking at me like, someone's gonna get really hurt now. <laughs> stab yourself with the pencil. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then stab yourself with the ball. <laughs> You ready? Classic rules, okay? Classic guys. Ah, oh, you got it. There's Two cards, all right! Oh, there it is. You are the, the champion. Tell us your strategy here. Tell us your strategy. You just gotta rip them out of your hand. I know you did. My hand is like beat up here. He's bleeding, but my hand's just as bad. Lies! <laughs> Lies! Look at that scrape. Look at that big scrape across that finger. Lies. And blood. Lies. <laughs> All right, thank you. We did it. Well, as you can see here, Great Western Trail with the expansion, which by the way is amazing. One of the best expansions of the year. Uh, and we'll call it 2018 because it did come out at Essen. One of the best expansions of the year. Hopefully we'll review it soon, but it's amazing. Um, and... I want to say this game is great. I got talked into it by these guys here. They said, come play Great Western with us. And I was like, of course I will. So I'm excited. This is one of my top 10 games of all time. And the expansion makes it even better. So here we go with Great Western Trail. My voice is a little hoarse because of that spiky dastard screaming. But I'm excited. Great Western Trail. Here we go. We're going to have a good time. And I will see you soon for the end of the night. Well, the end of the night, I had a great time with Great Western Trail. I actually won the game. Uh, the expansion is amazing for those of you who haven't played it before. Tomorrow's the last day. We're going to go walking. Tom has a church service. I won't cover it because I'll be walking. But I'm going to walk again tomorrow. And then after walking, we're going to um, play some games. Close the convention around 3. But then people will play more games. And then uh, probably go see another show at night. And then fly back to Miami for back to our home but hope you guys have been enjoying this and there's one more day of coverage to go here at dice tower west